So um, we've got it pretty close to roughed out now. You can see where my lines are on my pattern. Um, if you're really, if your lines disappear, um, you know, when the metal's heating up, you can always take your pattern and check it again. Um, notice that when the metal heats up, it changes to this like rainbow color. You do want to pay attention to that. Um, if you're grinding too much, you don't want the, the to really heat the steel up to ultra hot temperatures and actually you can actually kind of heat treat the steel with the grinder and then it's going to be really hard to work with. So if you see the metal um, changing color like this, it's not a big deal as long as it doesn't really start to change um, a lot. So if it does, just hang out, hang back a little bit and let it cool off for a second uh, before you do more. Okay. So now, now that we have it cut out pretty well, I'm going to put it back in the vise and I'm just going to take the file and I'm going to finish. Um, I'm going to clean everything up with the file and then I'm going to take that half round file and I'm going to clean up this concave area. Everything else I'm going to use this larger mill file for. So if I just clamp this right into the vise, then the vise is going to leave, it's going to, because this metal is soft, it's going to leave indentions in the metal. So I don't want that. Um, so I'm going to take, I often take a piece of leather, but I don't bring any today. But I'm going to take these little wood shims and I'm going to stick those in there. That way, um, it doesn't ding up my knife and make it, you know, something that I um, will be pissed off about later. So first I'm going to clamp the top and um, I'm clamping it in the middle, but I'm going to file on the top. I just want this clamp to be pretty tight. with the file I've now put on a little bit thicker grinding blade on here and I'm just going to come and kind of clean this up on the edges um, again I'm not going to try and clean it up perfectly because 